Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kyle Martin. Autumn is here, but we wanted to take this time to upload our big summer trip painting video. In this video, we're going to have a few painting sessions. The first one is going to be from the Split Rock Lighthouse on the shores of Lake Superior in Minnesota. Then we're going to head into Bayfield for a couple of paintings. And finally, we wind up at the Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan for a painting. It's a great trip. I hope you enjoy it. We'll catch you in the next one. Well, the sun just came out and we're here at the state park that's right by the Split Rock Lighthouse. We're just making some lunch. It feels like another world up here. It's a world away from the farm and it's a world away from Rock Springs. It smells like a pine forest. We saw tamarack trees and we're really looking forward to today's adventure. But first, a little lunch time. Broccoli, tofu, and rice, and peanut sauce. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm in the land of Tom Thompson with the tamarack trees. We're up on the North Shore in Minnesota. We're here at the North. We're here at the Split Rock Lighthouse. Uh, we just took a tour inside the lighthouse. I don't think I've ever actually been inside of a lighthouse, and it was it was very cool. What'd you think? It was awesome. So we got this view of the lighthouse right behind us. We're short on time. I've got like an hour and 15 minutes to work on a painting. I've actually seen some really cool paintings of the lighthouse inside the Lighthouse Museum. Really focusing in on these rocks that are along the shoreline from this vantage point. There's a few different really nice vantage points, but I figure we'll come back again someday and I'll paint one of the other ones. All right, let's enjoy this painting session from the Split Rock Lighthouse. Nice couple hours of painting. There's the rock, there's the lighthouse. We're just starting our vacation here, so this is just day one. Morning, it's day two. It's 7.03, we're here at Gooseberry Falls, which is a state park along Lake Superior.
covered some ground today. We were at two harbors in Minnesota, and we, so hard to believe this morning, we went hiking and saw the waterfalls. We saw the Gooseberry Falls this morning. Then we went to Duluth, hung out with Paul. Duluth was amazing. He showed us a DIY skate park, and he took us to the dump where I got, the dump was, awesome. it was, what was your favorite thing at the dump? Oh yeah, the All fish you have right to there. do is bring them cardboard and yeah. stuff for free. Yeah, the people just leave their things in the in some sheds and it's just like going to St. Vincent or somewhere else. It's just people left these things in. I got an Italian easel. I think that's the only thing that we got, but Paul got He gets lawnmowers and fixes them and, and then snow sells them. And snow blowers, he fixes small engines that he gets from there. And he said a lot of times all he has to do is clean the carburetor. He got a perfectly running lawnmower today. We yeah. put it in the trunk of his car and took it home. He just put gas in it and it started. Someone drummed it off. Paul's so great, he just knows all the good spots. He was genuinely impressed with the show us too. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that part of the day a lot. Landed here in Bayfield. I parked the van right back there by the ferry that goes to Madeline Island. I'm headed over onto the pier to do a plein air painting of these shacks that are right behind me, these old boat houses. Instead of being front lit like they are, as you're seeing now, I'm gonna paint them from behind so that they're back lit and I'm hoping to get a little bit of the sparkle of the water and some boats in the painting as well. You can see right behind me the sky has a really beautiful color to it this evening and I'm looking forward to painting the effect of light falling onto the water. I appreciate that. Paint the sparkle on the water. Are you still for fun? I'm just a, you know, just a painter, you know. Oh, painting for fun is the only way to do it. That's awesome. She's the artist. Who is? You are? Yeah, I don't paint though. What do you, what's your medium? Uh, I like drawing or photography, but I'm not back in that up. Whatever, you are good at it. Yeah. Did you go to school for it? I went to art school for eight years. Figure I got a couple more years in me, right? <laughs> yeah. I have an art education degree, but uh, before I got the uh, the teaching degree, I did graphic design. And actually, the graphic design plays a big part in my work because it's like it's about shapes and the way that graphic design kind of is, you know, like breaking stuff down into its most simple elements. Mm -hmm. Where did you teach? In Baraboo, Wisconsin. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's by the state park. Yeah, Devil's Lake. Yep. Did you go there? Yep. I yeah. It's killer, right? Mm -hmm. It's super pretty. When I went there, it was, you couldn't see much because it was in the winter. Very, and you visited Madison before as well, I'm sure. Yeah, that's where she's going to school next year. You're going there? Yep. You're going to have a good time. <laughs> you have toured the campus and everything. I'm excited. Do you sell your work, you think? I do. Kyle Martin Paintings, if you just Google that, my Selfie store will come up. Um, it's kind of like a Shopify store, and I have a blog. and cool. I've had a blog since 2008, so I've been at it. Yeah, check it out. Did you? Um, yeah. Yeah, there's right. some. Like there's this. some. That's my blog, right? Okay. Yeah. I should rename my channel as the GoPro Dies because that's what happened with the GoPro. But I got a sweet little painting on it this evening. Enjoyed painting the sparkle on the water. Enjoyed the conversations that I had out here on the dock as well. I'm gonna get my things back to the van and we'll take it from there. What a fun afternoon of painting.
We covered some ground and now we ended the day at Bayfield. Got to Bayfield, I painted a little bit, and now we're sitting in these Adirondack chairs, enjoying the water. Oh, got a book on how to winter. Rest and retreat. Wintering. We're wintering right now, we're getting rest and retreating. No, we're gonna start wintering in September. Or after the fall. Then it's our slow time. But for now, it's our busy time. And we did a lot today. Okay, we're ending this vlog. Before we left Bayfield on the next morning, I did a little watercolor sketch of these old boats in front of the fish house. It's too bad I didn't record it because it was one of my favorite paintings from the trip. We're here at Munsing Falls, and this is a big waterfall. We're here at Munsing Falls, which is a part of the Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore. There's like a 40 foot waterfall right behind us. This place is called Sand Point. It's a beach. There's plenty of little sand dunes out there. Lots of rock outcroppings. They're coming for you. And a beautiful vista. And there's these people. These are the ducks of Sand Point. Look at their little legs going. See ya. <laughs> well, Corbin and I and the van have made it all the way to the Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore. There is a ton of people here. There's two parking lots. They're both full. We wandered down the trail and saw the different nature areas that are there. And there's some water that is that Caribbean blue, which means that I'm going to be using some phthalo green in my mixtures when I paint the water. Let's wander down together and find out where we're going to paint from. I feel like I have this painting at a manageable state right now. I've got a lot of information up on the painting surface and I'm starting to see it. It's gonna take a whole lot more painting though to get all these color shifts laid in and to make this look like a picture of pictured rocks. A lot of really cool people coming through. A lot of middle school kids are like whispering to their parents. A guy from Ann Arbor just stopped and said that he really appreciated what I was doing. And then a couple photographers went down and said the same thing. I've been working very calmly today. I've been just kind of putting a brush stroke of paint down and leaving it alone. 
and I really don't want to overwork anything and I don't think that there's really a reason to do that. This is a cloudy day effect. Now it might look totally different on a sunny day. I've found over the summer that anytime I'm painting at one of the Great Lakes or anytime I'm painting water, cloudy day effects really isn't that bad. Normally I do like to paint under sunny day conditions, but when I'm painting water, it's actually kind of nice to have that cloudy effect. Look at all that emerald green water right in that little cove below the rocks. Um, the gentleman that I met from the lower Michigan, he said that there's that little cave out there and he and his kids were snorkeling right through that cave. That's pretty cool. So anyway, I'm gonna wrap this one up and we'll catch you in the next one. Hi. Appreciate it. Is that oil Yeah, it's oil, right. Appreciate it. Thank you, that's really cool of you. Everybody's had good things to say. I think it'd be hard for people to be in a bad mood considering where we are. Well, our time has come. It's the end of the trip. You can see tonight we sprung for a campsite. We got our campfire. We've got some food cooking over our stove. Light on us. All right, we're finishing up. We're going to be signing off from the last night of our trip. Yesterday we went uh, and we hiked in the Porcupine Mountains a little bit. Actually, we did some watercolor paintings in the rain. That was really fun. Yeah. Bella did a really nice one. It looks like um, snow is coming down. I think that's a thing people actually will uh, put snow and stuff in their paintings. We have power. Last night we had soggy s'mores, but tonight fresh. Bella opened up a fresh pack. These are not just regular graham crackers. These are the honey-made chocolate graham crackers. These are apples that I picked off of a tree in Bayfield. I've been eating these the whole trip. Um, I'm cooking oatmeal tonight. I've got some oatmeal that one of my students gave me. And the student wrote property of Kmart, Quicker Old Oats. That's really cool. We got chocolate over there. This one's mine. This one's yours. Excellent. <laughs> um, the paintings are all up here in my painting storage. That's the cooker that we use. There's our fan. There's it's our messy power over there. Oh Let's my not. gosh, it's so messy. We're not looking at it right now. That was just a quick s'mores mm. update. And what, what's your favorite s'mores? Yeah, last night we had s'mores with cookies. Yeah. Yes. And we do have the luxury. Do you have your own? Yeah.